So my new thoughts on golf balls, and you can see it's really been changed because I've learned more in that two, two and a bit years since I filmed that gorilla ball testing video. Um, the thing that you guys should do to really, if you guys want to learn a bit more, is to go to this website, um, My Golf Spy. You've probably heard of them. They did the 2019 Golf Ball Buyer's Guide. Um, and you can see it was like now, time of publishing this video is uh, roughly going to be probably about a year almost. Um, and what these guys are trying to do is just trying to give you all the facts. Um, and really, they did this thing where they did find it, cut it, which is a ball thing, just to see how golf balls were made. And actually, it was crazy that they saw that the, the vice ball that I actually decided to play um, at that time, it actually was made in the same factory as a whole bunch of other types of these gorilla balls. And, and really, it was... Yeah, it was a bit very eye-opening for me to sort of read about that stuff. And But the biggest takeaway... The biggest takeaway um, that I sort of got with all these golf ball things that I was researching was that you need to use a golf ball that people actually knew what they were doing rather than just having people that were good at making some rubber and some urethane uh, to put a ball together with no real actual other thoughts surrounding that. Um, don't get me wrong, I still like the vice ball. It still works pretty good. I'm going to keep using it. Um, until again, till they run out, um, because one of the big things about what my uh, my golf spy said was that you just need to keep playing the same ball, so you get used to doing it. So I'm going to keep using the vice pro until it's done, and then the next ball because I bought it a bit later on because I started to learn about this guy called Snell, Dean Snell, I believe his name is. He makes Snell golf balls. This is the My Tour Ball X. It's such a nice golf ball. And you can tell because that guy's got so much... The amount of patents he has... Again, check out my golf spy. They're really good. This is more just like a thing just to say, go find these people. They're really good and they know a lot about golf. And their hashtag consumer first thing is true. They just want something that's going to perform for you. And this ball really does perform really well. So I'm excited to use it a bit more. Um, but... When these run out, because they will run out, I'm not going to go buy more of these. When they run out, I'll go back to tried and true Titleist Pro V1X, again, with the cat. Um, this is a brand new Pro V1X. Um, it just performs really good. If you check out their golf ball buyer's guide, they did all robot testing. They had a whole bunch of um, uh, takeaways from it, but if you look at it here, my Tallball X is top value. Again, why I thought to buy it. Um, and if you look here at distance, these are the top distance balls here. The Snell, again, doing really well. I, I would probably consider me high swing speed, even though, you know, I'm, I vary a lot because, you know, I don't get to play as much anymore. Um, but if we go to here, this is one other big thing they took away from it. A softball is a slow golf ball. But if you go to, like... Um, you know, like Chrome Soft and and Torbia and AVX, then they're not actually gonna help you that much, um, especially if you're not really, really super high spinning. You need to be able to, um, yeah, get get some distance out. Of it. It's yeah, it, it, you need to be able to play the ball and be consistent with it. Um, and again, pick one ball and play it. A bad shot might not be your fault because there's inconsistencies in some of the balls that they found. But if you were going to look at this, um, the performance breakdown, the top, the top balls in their opinion, look at that. Pro V1 and Pro V1X stay at the top all the time. Strixen, very good golf ball. Um, you can watch Mark Crossfield at the moment. He's playing that ball and, and, and enjoying it. And then the Bridgestone Tour BX is actually what my golf spy use in their testing when they're doing all of these um, most wanted series um, in terms of clubs. Um, and it's actually, yeah, a, a part of it as well. Then you've got the My Tour Ball X there. And if you actually go down, you'll see Vice Pro which is what I play, is actually there in only good um, balls, which is, which is you know, it is, that is, it. that's the results. Uh, but it's actually interesting to look at it now, and actually you need to, as a consumer, actually learn a bit more. And it's, and it's part of the reason why I did the channel, is I wanted to learn more about my game and actually try and, you know, have like a catalogue of my golf to see how I've improved or what I've changed and 
it's actually been interesting like you know even from that first video where like it was really weird playing on camera i haven't filmed a lot again because there's been stuff going on i'm going to again when the what's in the bag for 2020 comes out i'll fill you in with some stuff that's happened um but it's it's great to learn it's great for us to learn and, and my golf spies are really cool um, place to sort of learn about golf and learn about products because we are a very product orientated sport unfortunately um, is what it's become but um, the golf ball is the main thing that we need to use it's the common denominator is that we all use a golf ball that's urethane on the outside and rubber on the inside um, but they're very very different in who it's made and, and, and Titleist has proven to be very very good and know what they're doing so um, really this is not just a, my thoughts on golf balls but just you guys need to go check out my golf spy they're amazing they're really good um, sometimes it's hard to get through it it's like really um, data heavy at times but they try to break it down like they've done here and you know make <laughs> videos for you and try to really explain what's going on um, with golf balls so if anything, it's not so much like my changing thoughts on golf balls. It's more that go check out my golf spy. They're amazing. I've learned a lot, and I'm sure you will too. And again, uh, thanks for watching.